All right, guys, we got Sunday, June 19th, board briefing. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about the warm-up. Five sets, uh, seven different movements. They're broken down into <clears throat> difficulties, so we're going to start off a little bit easier, and we're going to scale up as we go. There's going to be an elephant in the room today, and that's going to be overhead double dumbbell um, carries, okay? So we have them in the warm-up, and it's just a walk. If we not cannot keep our arms locked out, and what I mean by that is elbow straight with the dumbbell stacked over our heads, we should be scaling back to something else. A couple other things we can do for that is take a plate and do it because it's a little wider for you, uh, a little bit easier because it's going to attach your hands at the top, um, or single arm dumbbell carry. Okay, so the name of the game today is keep those elbows locked out and we're looking for good shoulder mobility. Okay, specific warm up. <clears throat> um, we're going to do the skill work and it's going to be the shuttle runs. Rule for the shuttle run, entire body over the 25 foot mark with a hand touching on the other side. Okay, so we'll do that for the whole day. I'm going to give you the same workout. Um, Movement review after that, and that's going to be knees to elbow. And here we're talking about the overhead walking lunges. We're going to be able to find a weight that works for you or find a modification that works for you if need be. And then we're going to perform a mini round. So we'll talk about the overhead walking lunges when we get to the workout. And you'll notice the weight for the dumbbells is a little bit lower than probably we're used to on farmer's carry. It's 25 and 35 pounds. That's because when it comes to the overhead walking lunges, we want that double dumbbell overhead locked out. 100% of the time, they should be locked out if you want that RX. So these are old school CrossFit rules. So if you're a little bit of an OG, you might remember this kind of thing. Um, when you're carrying something overhead, elbows must be locked, okay? So quite demanding. Now, if we're not able to hit that position, right? I know personally it's a really hard struggle for me to do that. Uh, scaling options is to do it single arm, okay? And what I would do is I'd split the reps in half. I would do five on one side, five on the other, okay? Is it RX? No. Is it gonna keep you moving a little bit better? Absolutely, okay? It's also gonna train you to lock those elbows out and try to get your shoulder into good position overhead. Knees to elbows, we should have our arms straight when we're making contact with our elbow with our knee, um, that's the best case scenario. If we're a little short, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but let's just try to have those straight arms and hit those elbows every single time. 200 meter farmer's carry. We should be able to carry these dumbbells. Um, they're a little bit lighter. We should almost be able to run with them, okay? And how you do the farmer's carry is up to you. You can speed walk, you can jog, you can run. Um, my suggestion for this is always try to keep your arms straight at the elbow again, right? Locked out. We don't want to carry things like this. It starts burning up other muscles. Know what you need those biceps for to hang from that bar and do those uh, toes to bar, okay? Or sorry, knees to elbows. Level two, 15 and 25, kipping, or sorry, knee, knees to armpit. So a little less range of motion, almost the same workout. Level one, 15, or sorry, 10 and 15 pounds for the dumbbells. Knee raises hanging from the bar and front rack walking lunges. Okay. Big picture items, eight to 10 minutes for the workout. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, people with better mobility up shoulder mobility are going to have a distinct advantage at this workout time wise and effort wise. All right. Uh, lunges and knees to elbows should all be kept under one minute all the time for all three rounds. Uh, if you can do the knees to elbows in three sets or less, great. Uh, we're gonna try to keep the lunges to two sets or less, right? Some of us, I know if I have those dumbbells overhead, I really have to work. So I might only get five lunges, have to put them down and then put them back overhead and do them again, okay? So again, um, fun workout. Let's hit it hard, work on that mobility. And if we don't have that range of motion, scale the weight down or scale the option down for the movement. All right, guys, enjoy the workout. Have some fun. Sunday, fun day. We'll see you tomorrow.